my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today, tomorrow and the following day we are doing decorating wrapping paper. I love using my Cricut to make unique and different wrapping paper to go with the rest of my decor. Every year I kind of change up my decor and one thing that's constant though is that I always use brown wrapping paper. But just with a few twists along the way and I like that I can make my wrapping paper unique and personal as well. So today we are going to create wrapping paper using embossing. So we're going to use some embossing pens that fit in the Explore machines and of course that includes the Airs and the Maker as well. Unfortunately they do not fit in the Joy because as we know Joy has a different um, blade and pen system. Tomorrow we are going to be doing uh, decorating wrapping paper with pens and also colouring in and then on Thursday we are going to be doing uh, decorating wrapping paper with the Cricut foil system. And of course there's lots of other ways you can do it as well. So there's two types of pens that will fit in your Explores, your Airs and your Maker Machines in terms of embossing. So you've got the Ranger embossing pens and also the Wow ones as well and I'll link to everything in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to images and I'm going to search for snowflake. Now of course I could have a cut file that I turn to a draw file or I could just go for a draw file because they are single lined. So sometimes when you change an image or a font to a draw it will have those double lines so everything's encased. Sometimes you just want a single line. So if we go to art type we can select draw only and there are some lovely Christmas drawn images they're really beautiful so I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to insert the image so the thing with embossing is that you're only actually coloring or drawing with one color you're, you're drawing with the embossing pen so even if you want to do lots of multicolors and layers you're only actually going to have the one pen so for example let me go to images and this time I'm going to take away draw only and I'm going to choose a file with lots going on so for example let's have a look at this one so if I wanted to emboss with this one if I simply change it from a cut to a draw this is what's going to happen so I would want to emboss this but I'm going to end up with all of this kind of overlapping because everything has to be the one colour. You're not going to get the embossing pen to do multi-colours. So you do need to think about the image. So if I ungroup this, I'm going to have problems kind of moving that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to when it was an actual cut file and then I'm going to ungroup it and actually I'm still you're still going to struggle to make that a decent embossing file so what you could do is have the let and then that tree we could swap out for another tree so if I go to images and let's do um, Christmas tree so get that one and then we can do a deer as well let's just go with that one Okay, we're just going to try and sort of recreate this a little bit. So if I get that tree and I do something like that. Now, when you're embossing, you've only got the one layer. So there's been no point me keeping those two layers. But what I could do is ungroup it and then keep this one and get rid of that one. So I could have it somewhere like that. The snowflake as well I can keep that and I could move it around if I want to. So now I need to think about the let it so the it and the snow part. So if I go to my text and I type in it. What about Christmas story? That's normally a nice one. Yep that's quite nice. It's obviously different to the other one and of course you can play with different fonts but let me just do that letter space. So I'm going to decrease the letter space and hopefully 
it will line it up perfect so that could go somewhere like that and then we could add our deer and then I can do the snow so again get a text and let's go for snow and we can also change the font again and of course if you were going to do this you'd sit and choose your fonts a bit better I'm just very quickly kind of showing so you could do something like that and again let's decrease that letter space and I don't think we're going to get it oh yeah we can we can do it without ungrouping it so then I could do something like I could have that there and then that and I could get my snowflake and I could then do maybe something like that there and I could add my deer to my snow so if I reduce that and bring him over and I could of course put him at a bit of an angle something along those lines so then all I'm going to do is obviously weld all of this together and then I'm going to change it to a draw and then that would be what's drawn and I could if I wanted to do multicolors then I can do that using the embossing powders so you do need to think about the image anyway we're doing this I went on a bit of a tangent then but we're doing the snowflake today but you've got options you might just find that you need to play with it a bit so the first thing I need to work out is the size of my wrapping paper and you can either cut your wrapping paper on the machine or you can simply put your wrapping paper onto the mat and then have it just draw or foil or whatever it is and then you manually cut it there's two choices today I'm going to do just the drawing so I'm going to emboss and then in the further videos I will show actually cutting out the paper but either way you need to work out the size now when it comes to wrapping paper you can obviously have it go on a 12 by 12 mat or a 12 by 24 mat if you wanted to do larger you can actually do separate pieces of wrapping paper and then put them together for a larger present so I need to think about the actual size of the present side so the side of which my drawing is going to go on to because you can again you can fill the wrapping paper with lots of images or you could do just one on the main side of the present so that's what I'm going to do for this and then the other videos I'll show you filling in the rest of the wrapping paper so I'm going to make the width on this four inches and then of course the rest of my wrapping paper will be 12 by 12. Now I am not going to put my wrapping paper in as a square because I don't want to cut it. All I'm going to do is go straight to make it and I'm going to manually put this in the middle of my 12 by 12. So about there and then I can go to continue. The pens I'm going to use to emboss work in any of the explores, so that includes the airs and the maker as well. I'm not cutting, but I still need to choose a material, so I'm just going to choose medium cardstock. And then it's telling me I need to load my pen. So I've got my wrapping paper on my green mat, and then I've got three embossing pens here so I've got the Ranger and the Wow and they fit perfectly in the machine. So I'm going to put my pen in now just a tip so so one thing you do have to be aware of is that these do dry and you need to be able to draw remove your wrapping paper from your machine and put your embossing powder on and you need to be quite quick about it. You've got two ways that you can do that you either put your pen in first of all it will draw and then if it's going to cut it will cut if it's been quite quick you can obviously eject and put your embossing powder on if it's taken a little while once it's cut just press your C again and it will draw for you again and before it starts to cut you pause it and eject it the other option is, is you don't put your pen in, 
you let it pretend it's drawing you do the cut and then you put the pen in and you press C again and it will draw and then you pause it before the next cut and you unload it. So we're going to take this off the mat. So I'm going to use some blue wow embossing powder and also some cosmic shimmer as well. So I'm going to do the blue first and I'm just going to randomly sprinkle it on and then I'm going to add the white. And once the powder's on there you're no longer in a rush. I can then get my embossing heat tool. We're going to allow it to heat up for a minute or so. You'll, you'll see as it's heating it sort of kind of liquefies. It's all very pretty. Now if you wanted to fill in some of your embossing, you can do that as well. So I do the outline first because that obviously dries quite quickly and then I come in with my pen and I can manually colour in. They look amazing and you can really go all out with the embossing and then of course if you want to colour in you can do that as well but I recommend doing the outline, getting that heated and then manually coming in and colouring in. But you've got lots and lots of options with embossing. <laughs> 